Hello and welcome to this demo where we want to talk about natural language processing leveraged with Apache Camel and LLM tools. I want to start by showing some of the things you are going to see during the demo. So first of all, we are not going to be execute, executing traditional flows that are sequential or prescribed or pre-programmed. Uh, they are going to have a certain dynamic nature and this is going to be dictated by an LLM that is going to be deciding where to go next. So this is already quite interesting to observe. Of course, the central part of the demo is going to be around natural language processing and how the LLM is going to play the main role into extracting all the main pieces of information from the user and map those to the integration points in order to retrieve from APIs or databases, for example, the relevant pieces of information to complete the operation. Also, I want you to go through the entire creation process that uh, the demo is going to show to you, starting with some visual tooling, entering this prototyping phase where we are going to be iterating very fast, adding functionality, and uh, by the end of it, we should be able to export and deploy that into OpenShift. All of this is powered by Apache Camel and LLMs with tool support. One last mention is that we are going to be running in a, on a super tiny LLM. This is quite remarkable because normally you need a certain size for LLMs in order to behave uh, properly, but they require a GPU acceleration. And the thing is that we don't have that on the environment we are going to be running on uh, because we would like to open that environment for everyone. So it's quite restricted. Uh, and uh, so that people can go and try by themselves. More, more of that when we finish uh, the demo, but just be aware that everything that you are going to see is going to be running on this super tiny LLM, which is quite impressive. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the environment. Right, so this is OpenShift where uh, we can see already the L super tiny LLM running there on a pod. And uh, this is the already pre-deployed application, uh, but actually we are not going to look at this one in particular. What we want is to actually create it. So I'm going to show that creation process. And for that, we are going to be switching to Dev Spaces, which, which is an environment that is running on that same OpenShift environment, but we have all the tooling that we need and uh, we can run uh, here locally on this window, uh, everything that we need to create that process. So we see some source code on the left that is going to be our base to start with all of this. Uh, we have some HTML page uh, that is going to give us uh, you know, a little interface uh, so that we can easily interact with the UI. Uh, it's just a presentation layer, but basically uh, the main part of it is this uh, single root definition that I'm going to open up. And when I click on it, you can see straight away uh, graphically, you know, the process execution flow with all the steps uh, that are initiated with an HTTP uh, server that basically is listening for user requests and it packages uh, that request from the user and sends that to the LLM. So this configures the interaction with the LLM, the LLM responds, and then we basically finish there with a little log. But by the end of this process, the response goes back to the user. So we can actually run this locally here with the camel CLI. So this is camel JBang, and we can say something like camel star. Now notice, I'm going to uh, start it already, but notice that here we don't need to define any dependencies or anything like that. This is just reading this camel root and uh, just by its definition, uh, camel is able to understand all the dependencies that are required, is going to download those for us and is going to prepare everything and run it locally for us as developers uh, to see what uh, the execution does and if we want, we can iterate on that. So we see that the system now is prompting us to open uh, the chat UI on a new tab. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click here and open it. And we see this uh, little, uh, so this corresponds to that uh, little HTML page that we saw earlier. I'm, I've uh, zoomed in so that uh, we can look at it. And uh, of course, you know, we can already interact with the LLM uh, here and we should get responses. Uh, and we see that, okay, it says, hello, how can I assist you? Uh, I'd like to start asking something like, okay, what is the current temperature in London? And when I click in here, uh, the LLM is going to respond us with uh, something, but clearly it's not giving us the answer we expect. It's not giving us 
uh, real-time information. And this is because it's a sort of uh, black box. It doesn't have connectivity or it's not plugged to anything. Uh, so obviously uh, there's not, not much more it, it can do. So this is exactly uh, what uh, I want you to go through is the creation process. So I'm going to stop this. And uh, we want to create uh, that connectivity for the LLM. So I'm going to say clear. I'm going to fast forward to prepare uh, the, uh, the, the step. And uh, what we want to do is to create that tool uh, that the LLM then will be aware uh, that is available to him and then run. So I'm going to say to uh, execute this command camel init and I'm going to create a new root that I'm going to call root uh, tool uh, weather.camel.yaml and this is going to create the base definition of a camel root really uh, and if I open it here uh, on the UI we see that uh, well it's the sort of hello world that uh, uh, camel would predefine for us of course we don't want uh, to execute this what we want to do instead is to redefine this process so I'm going to uh, start uh, clicking here and I'm going to say that the starting activity instead of a timer I want to use uh, I want this to be a tool uh, so I put the filter there and then I select this uh, uh, lang chain tools component so that will be our starting activity and all we need to do now is to configure this so I can give it an ID so I'm going to say okay this is going to be the tool ID weather and I just need to complete here some extra uh, definition but what is more important here is to give it a description so I'm going to say uh, get uh, weather forecast because this description is what uh, the LLM is going to be looking at in order to understand what this tool does right and what is very crucial what is crucial is that uh, we tell the LLM that it needs to provide for us uh, this particular parameter, the city uh, for which we can obtain uh, temperature. So uh, this is going to be a string. Uh, we click OK there and OK, we have defined a um, an argument, a parameter that the LLM needs to pass to us. The following step is just uh, simply uh, complete the, the, the response, right? So uh, here with the set body, uh, by default, it just says hello world or something, but we can redefine this. And normally in this process, we want to integrate with APIs in order to obtain real time information. But for the sake of testing and quickly prototyping, we are going to hard code this to uh, 30 degrees uh, Celsius, for example which is a bit ridiculous uh, for, for example, for London. Uh, it's never that hot or is rarely that hot. Uh, but uh, for the sake of uh, seeing how this uh, runs, then uh, we, can, uh, we can run it like that. So I'm going to say uh, camel run uh, star dot dash dash dev. So dev is going to uh, allow us uh, to iterate the code and make changes. And camel is going to pick those up uh, on the fly and uh, uh, restart uh, uh, or hot deploy, or, you know, those, uh, pick up those changes on the fly and um, so that we can make rapid changes and evolve the functionality of the flow. All right, so again, it is uh, scanning uh, the, the folder and it's seeing that there's a couple of uh, uh, root files that it has already preloaded. We don't need to uh, reopen this because it's already there. So I'm going to switch again to the same window and I'm going to ask exactly the same uh, question. What is the current temperature in London? So I'm going to send this, except now the LLM is aware that there's a tool available and effectively we see that it's telling us London 35 degrees Celsius. So it's really invoking that and we can see that if we inspect uh, the logs of the system, and we can see that uh, there it is. Uh, there's the uh, weather forecast invocation, and we see that it has populated the argument and it has extracted from the user that this is about London, right? So we have used that in our tool execution in order to respond. Okay, and uh, let's uh, uh, go ahead and just make a rapid change here just to show you how Camel is able to pick this up. You see that I've uh, put 135 degrees, which is quite ridiculous, but Camel has picked up the change change and it has reloaded uh, the definition so we could uh, again ask the same question and see if the LLM is using that information and uh, yeah effectively we see that even though it's totally silly uh, the LLM is fully relying on that uh, tool functionality that uh, we provide okay uh, so I'm going to close this and uh, like I said earlier normally that uh, tool integrates uh, with external systems and uh, we don't have the time here uh, because I wanted to make uh, this uh, as short as possible but I do have a little script that is going to rewrite that tool for us so I say fast forward and uh, what this is going to do is that 
that same tool definition that I created on the fly for you on this recording is going to be redefined and I can open it uh, immediately for you. And you see that is slightly longer, but uh, it starts with the same tools activity. Uh, it sets a variable, but crucially, it calls this API, this one, GeoDB, because we need first to extract, uh, we need to use the city, so London, to obtain some geo coordinates. And we need those uh, geo coordinates in order to then properly call the API that is truly responsible uh, to obtain that forecast for that uh, city. But we need to provide here the latitude and longitude, hence why we need to call the first API first. Okay, so uh, it has, Camel has reloaded this new definition. And if we go back to our chat API and we run exactly the same question once more, uh, now this time, uh, it should be connected to the internet and actually provide the real-time information. And we see that it appears to do so, right? So it says London currently has 7.2 degrees. So we can check that uh, in Google very quickly. And we see that, okay, Google says 8 degrees, but uh, that's pretty, pretty close to the reality. And uh, yeah, it gives us a forecast that tomorrow and the day after is going to be 7 degrees, around 7 degrees, which is effectively what matches with uh, Google. So yeah, so uh, that's in to work. All right, so let's enter the next phase of uh, the um, of the uh, um, of the demo. And what I want to show to you next, I'm going to clear this and I'm going to fast forward. Uh, so okay, so we have seen the ability for the LLM to invoke one uh, tool, but actually something that you can do is uh, invoke as many tools as needed. And what I've done is I've uh, prepared the code. Uh, to run, uh, to uh, to add an additional tool that is called root tool guide camel. And that tool is going to provide some uh, information uh, as if we were emulating a travel agent. So it's going to pro provide the contact of a, of a tour guide uh, for a certain place, right? So I'm going to uh, run that, uh, uh, camel run star. So now we have Two, uh, uh, two different tool definitions available. Uh, so when this loads, Camel, uh, again, makes the LLM aware that not only there's the main flow, but also there's two uh, different tools available. One provides the weather information, the other one will provide information about tool guides. Uh, so when it scans this, and again, it solves all the dependencies and runs locally here so that we can test this, uh, let's just wait for this to be ready. Uh, and it's going to say, um, okay, so now it's ready. It's uh, prompting us to open this, but we have it already. So now uh, this allows us to ask questions like, for example, uh, okay, uh, uh, let me send this. I'm planning to fly to Paris. So this time is Paris instead of London. What is the weather forecast over there? And please give me the phone number of a good local tour guide you recommend. And it see and we see that okay, it's giving us the uh, temperature in Paris, which is 5.2, and it's uh, telling us the recommended local tour guide for Paris is Romain Renault uh, with a phone number. And we see here the French prefix and a local uh, phone number. Uh, so this is uh, quite incredible, and uh, we can see here on the logs, if we check very quickly, uh, that it has actually invoke uh, both uh, uh, tools. So the get weather forecast and the uh, get local tour guide. And we see that it is passing the parameters. So this is great. Uh, this is great. It shows us how uh, multiple tools can be invoked in uh, parallel. All right. So the, we are entering the last phase of the demo and uh, to finish uh, all of this, I'm going to fast forward this to prepare the next uh, bit. Um, what I want to show to you is something that is a little bit more realistic or that it is more in the realm of, uh, you know, enterprises uh, where they need to integrate with uh, databases and so. So I want to show you how we can declare or how we can define a tool that integrates with a uh, uh, with uh, with a database. And in this case, while well, we were talking about a travel uh, agent, uh, so imagine you travel and then you incur into some expenses and uh, you want to incorporate, uh, you know, a tool that provides uh, an expenses, expenses information. So for that, uh, I've deployed in the same environment uh, we have here on this, this is the namespace that I showed below, but they have a, a shared one uh, where I have deployed a database, a Postgres database. And on this uh, particular uh, database, I can query uh, very quickly on this uh, with this little uh, script that is going to uh, launch a query against that database. We see here all the columns uh, for that uh, for the table that is available there, where there's uh, uh, you know an account accounts and dates. 
uh, a description of the expense and then an amount uh, for those expenses okay so there's a few entries there and uh, basically let me show to you the new tool definition that uh, we have created for that you see that as usual it starts with a tools component there and uh, we see the uh, what, what's interesting about this tool let me show you very quickly uh, but um, actually if we look at uh, the transaction it's called transactions and uh, yeah the description this is what the LLM uh, is going to be reading in order to know what this does it says get account transactions and uh, interestingly here we have uh, four parameters and uh, they are going to see as you can see they map very well uh, with the columns of uh, of this uh, database so we have an account we have a filter to search by and we have a start and an end date in order to retrieve the expenses for a certain period of time so let's uh, run uh, these here uh, come all run uh, and on the meantime, just to show to you that this actually, this is the SQL activity uh, where we run uh, the select mapping the values that the LLM provides in order to retrieve the information. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, once it loads uh, the definition, then we can go back to our chat window. I think that is ready. Uh, uh, almost there, almost there. So again, scanning is loading that uh, SQL dependency and uh, preparing everything for us. Uh, we don't need to worry about anything. And uh, okay, uh, now it is ready. And this uh, now allows us to uh, send queries like this one, for example. So I'm going to send it and it says, please list my expenses for my account 222 beginning on August to September included of 2024 and search by TFL Transport for London. And we see that it comes back with an answer. It has retrieved and filtered for that period of time and it found three expenses. And now, interestingly, you, we see that it says pounds when in reality, we never uh, defined the currency type uh, on the table, right? So in the the database it doesn't say if it's pounds or dollars or anything but because this is transport for London uh, then it has uh, you know it has concluded that these must be pounds which is very interesting all right and with all of that that uh, basically uh, is the end of the demo and want, uh, what I wanted to show to you and uh, to conclude and to close the the video uh, well if you have liked uh, what you have seen uh, it's important for you to know that uh, this was all actually designed as a tutorial because what was most important for us uh, was uh, to um, provide some content that you can enjoy and you can uh, play with and uh, you can jump uh, and enjoy this interactive uh, content in the developer sandbox which is a free to access and at no cost environment uh, where you can provision this uh, experience the full creation process as I've shown it to you during the demo and uh, without having you know to know about the intricacies of a particular programming language is all graphical it's all very intuitive and these will help you to grasp better these uh, new LLM concepts and ideas and by playing with it uh, you will understand much much better the uh, the mechanics of it so down below you have the URL in order to access uh, the tutorial and being able to provide it so I would encourage everyone want to really go and have fun and play because you really uh, get uh, everything uh, better if not uh, the video should uh, also provide the details on the links below on the description or uh, floating around here in the recording uh, for you to access the instructions all right having said all of that it's time for me to go uh, I hope you enjoyed all of that uh, thank you very much and see you soon bye